At Makerere University. ISAC is the team of the Keep a Girl, Girl Child in School project, which aims to keep girls from deprived backgrounds in education through providing them with sanitary towels. He is collaborating on the project with the team of Oxford students for support. Um, Nadrine Nabatanzi is in her final year studying economics at Makerere University. Uh, Nadrine served on the Oxmark committee for the past year has innovated her own social action project, Go Groganda. The project aims to support slum families by providing them with materials for growing vegetables to then sell them as an income generating activity. Julius Mugaga is in his third year studying biomedical engineering at Macquarie University. Julius is responsible for the creation of the Fistula app project. Um, the project is designed to help doctors assess the risk of a mother developing fistula swiftly and effectively through the use of a mobile app. So these are our speakers and I would like to please welcome, welcome them. Uh, and thank you. I'd like to take the floor and go to first. Hi everyone. Um, my name is Hatu Mila, as she introduced me. I'm a third year student of doing Bachelor of Mass Communication and Journalism. And I'm also the incoming president of Oxmark in my career site. So I'm going to explain to you what United Oxmark is. United Oxmark is a partnership between the two universities, that is Macquarie University and Oxford University. And so that's that's where the name comes like Ox, then Mark, Ox, then Oxford, and then Mark for Macquarie. So um, basically Oxmark is doing a uh, different work and then Oxmark helps people in their project, the project which has the social impact. So very many people will be asking themselves how do we do this because Macquarie and Oxford they are really really far, like very very far. So um, basically we communicate via the social media such as Facebook, email, I mean email, Skype and others. So the volunteers in Oxford University are able to communicate with people in Uganda. And these projects are basically in Uganda only. Oxford only come to help us and give consultancy and other stuff. So, um, I'm sorry. Um, so basically also uh, we have an exchange program whereby students from Oxford get, get a chance to come to Macquarie University and students from Macquarie University get a chance to come to Oxford University at, on February as we're here now. We have a chance for two weeks to be in Oxford. We get to make people who volunteer in our program. People help us to support in different ideas, talk to us and advise us into their different capacities. So also students from Oxford University, they have a chance to come to Uganda in August and they get to see the people they've been helping, how the projects are implemented, um, to see other projects, because apparently we have like 50 projects, so we just don't have the four projects. Uh, these are just examples, they represent others, but we have very many other projects, like 50 of them. Yeah, so that is basically what Oxmark does and how Oxmark is. Um, I personally as happy, um, I'm a student of mass communication and journalism, but I minor in literature. So I have a project called Reading Culture. And um, as I was thinking, as I mean, when I came up with this idea, I first tried to find out what does reading culture mean to people. Um, earlier in 19th century, as we were used of talking like verbally, that is basically in East Africa, that's Tanzania, Kenya, and Uganda. So. People go to school because they think they just have to go to school, like for formality. If you ask someone else why do you go to school, they tell you because if I would not go to school, probably my mom would cane me. Maybe I don't go to school because, I mean, I don't see the importance of the school, so I just go because everyone else goes to school. So um, basically we started the Reading Culture Project, we wanted people to, to, to insert the reading culture into people. 
so that they see the importance of education, they see the value of education, why should I go to school, because education carries value in it. So, um, we started with a book called, I mean, sorry, I was going to say really cut. We started with a book called Think Big. I don't know if most of you have heard about it. It's by Ben Castle. It's basically motivated people. So it's still, it's, it's more, we, we, I mean, we help to inspire them, to motivate them that education has value. That if they read, I mean, the reading is going to help them in their life. So we started with that book into a school called St. Mary in Uganda and we have a group of 37 members whereby we, we teach these people and we talk to them and we inspire them. Um, I, at a certain time I found the question people ask me why did you choose reading culture as part of saving the society or as in, because it has impact in society. I'm, when I, I'm basically from, I'm from Tanzania so when I joined Uganda in my high school um, I was the second last in class. Mm -hmm. That was not a very good thing. I mean, so one of my teachers gave me the book, Ben Carson, Think Big. So when I read it, it motivated me, it made me strong. And then when I was finishing my senior five, by then I was the first in my class. And then I completed high school when I was among the three best students in my school. So I basically know how books, how reading can help you, how it can motivate you, how it can add value in whatever you're doing. So, um, currently we have problem like in the reading culture project because because I love reading and I wanted it so badly like to change the society to I mean there are people who are like me probably and they really wanted help so um, we don't have enough books because as you know I, I facilitated the project for my saving so I basically want to go to more than one school like I target seven school this year. But we don't have enough books. We don't have enough volunteers, people who can talk to us, people who can tell us the reading materials which are good. I mean, people who can basically help us. So that is one of the problems that we're facing. We're able sometimes to photocopy some part of the book, but as you know, it's illegal to photocopy the whole book. So, yeah, we're trying to photocopy parts and we talk. So. Basically, if we'll, need, if we'll get people who can really, who really love to help the society in that format, I'll be very happy to work with them and I welcome you with all my heart. Reading is part of us and education has value in us. And then they will have a total, a total income, like a net income of roughly um, £17 